Oh, good. I had some technical difficulties as well. Uh, sorry, what did you say? I said I had some technical difficulties. Can you hear me all right? I can, yes. Okay. Good deal. I can't see you, but I can hear you. I think. Oh, okay. What about now? Is it better? Yeah, yeah, more better. Yeah. You mentioned something about starting a profitable business. Are you running a business now? Uh, yes. I currently, with uh, me and my uh, uh, co-founder, he's got. We've got a media company, and we do partly events, but mostly promotion and and uh, digital advertising for brands. Okay. How old is the company? Um, two, three years now. Three years three old. Years. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many employees? Um, it's just him and I, and we we subcontract out the work for like videography and some social media management. I see. Mm -hmm. And uh, you sub out to the Philippines, India, China. Where do you sub out to? Well, just locally here in West Michigan. Okay. Yeah. And, and what are your main events? What What's your most profitable event? Um, we do event event promotion and event curation for like the brands. So it's whatever they come up with, like together maybe they're we've, we've worked at you know helping event spaces get more eyes and ears so we'll throw an event there for say and we've we've got music backgrounds so we've got connections in the music space so we'll connect event spaces and music as well um so so does that make sense we don't necessarily have like an event that we do that is profitable got it's it. more of we work with a brand and they say oh you know i want I want to do X, Y, Z thing. And it's like, oh, maybe a, uh, an event might work for that to get people to come. Who you're trying okay. to attract, you're trying to get in front of. So you're not trying to specialize in any particular industry, like in construction or or wedding industry or traveling tourism or anything like that? Um, no, we've got a background in music. So we've been kind of towards the industry. And so I think we've, we're specializing in the industry. The only thing is the industry tends not to have a lot of money. So... <laughs> We, uh, as I'm sure you know, so we're kind of going back to the drawing board. Like We've got some clients who are musicians and that's great, but they, yeah, they just don't have money. So uh -huh. it's like a, like a label, for example, that's kind of what we are for musicians. It's like, that's great, but a label still inf usually infuses capital to an artist and that we're not at that level yet. So, okay. Yeah. What mm -hmm. kind of revenue did you do last year? Um. Last year, I think it was somewhere between like ten and twenty thousand. This is like still a part time oh. job for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's really part time. Yeah, very part time. Yeah. Okay. And do you want to turn it into a full time business? Do you want to grow this thing? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, I'm still struggling trying to figure out what it is you do exactly. Um. Is yeah, there anything, so it, yeah. if you share the screen, is there anything to show me your most popular event? Um, yeah, I, we do digital marketing for the most part in events. So it's like okay. social media. We manage social media accounts. Uh, we do some video and photo work as well. So like a brand would come to us and be like, oh, I don't really know how to do social media. And we'd be like, all right, we can do that for you. Okay. Yeah, we hire some videographers, some photographers. Okay. Both That's the second it, time you yeah. said the brand would come to us. How are you yeah. promoting yourself? How how do people know you exist? Uh, right now it's word of mouth. Mm. So we don't have any formal advertising ourselves other than working on um, like getting really we've just worked on referrals. Yeah. I'm just trying to think here. We've done some promotion but like word of mouth like hey I know you you know this is what we do sort of thing but we don't have any like Facebook ads or really much social media posting. I've got some stuff on my personal page, but um, it's all word of mouth so far and referrals. Okay. It's interesting. You went straight to book, uh, Facebook ads. Um, yeah. I mean, I was, I mean, I guess there's Instagram and Facebook, but we don't run any, any sort of digital media advertisements or, or traditional. Okay. What about just doing it organically? Uh, one of my videos has 8.7 million views. What about just doing something like that? Yeah, that's that's what we're getting right uh, up for. I think for me, what's holding me and my uh, my head back is 
just I want more I want more reps with people before I really open the floodgates. Not that we necessarily immediately have more clients by any means. Yeah, there is no but... floodgates. Okay, yeah. They're gonna trizzle in or drizzle in or trinkle in or whatever the word is that I'm looking mm -hmm. for. It, it's not, it, you're never going to get to a point. Oh my God, we've got too much money. We've got too many clients. <laughs> that, you know, no, yeah, that doesn't happen. Yeah. It doesn't happen. True. And and if it did happen, you just hire more people. Yeah. that That's like someone saying, oh my God, I'm winning the lottery all the time. Can you please stop it? I can't take all this money. <laughs> it doesn't happen yeah. okay yeah so good point yeah how many yeah. followers do you have uh my personal page we've got my personal pages combined probably 1500 or so okay and then the the other guy in the business he's got about fifty five thousand. so okay. a, a decent chunk He's uh really well known in the music industry and uh that that space. So that's it's good, you know. I mean we get people inquiring and meeting with us and that sort of thing there, but once again they just they just don't have money to pay for anything. Mm -hmm. You know. So you so, need to find another industry. Yeah, that's that's what we're I'm not really sure where to go next. I want something that is I thought in Michigan the cannabis industry is really huge. Cannabis? So well, cannabis. Cannabis. cannabis, cannabis, yeah, okay, and There's that's no, kind of aligned with music. If, so. if you think musicians don't have any money, mm -hmm. cannabis industry even worse. Really, I guess where where are you from? Sorry, where are you where are you out of? I'm in Toronto, Canada. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't even know. Um, is it's legal in Canada, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. but it doesn't mean yeah. they're making money. I've got lots mm. of clients who tried it and, you know, we're taking them out of the industry because there's no money in it. Oh, geez, really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm. absolutely. So I guess, uh, what, do you, what do you think? I mean, we're not really opposed to any industry. You know, it seems like well, doctors have a lot of money. Uh, yeah. Um, the construction industry has been the most profitable industry consistently since 1920. Okay. Wow. Why, what, what makes that so even with inflated really high like lumber prices and such at the moment yeah but that's just cost you pass on to the consumer right true yeah a well-designed company doesn't absorb costs they pass it on and people love their homes their biggest investment right some mm, people pay yeah. you know spend 5 10 20 50 million on building a home <laughs> people yeah. you know i've got a client who gets one hundred fifty thousand dollars per bathroom Jeez. So. So you're saying construction's a um, good player. Are there other contenders for most profitable businesses, uh -oh. industries? Well, tech, but it it's hit and miss, right? Mm -hmm. The failure rate is 99%. So which ones do you back? Yeah. All right. So. Hmm. Um, I mean, trucking in terms of uh, um, brokerage, they make good money, but the, but trucking as an industry sucks. <laughs> yeah. Right. So there are certain segments in certain industries, but in terms of the largest industry is construction. So... Hmm. I, I would suggest that you join our group mentoring sessions or individual mentoring sessions if you want to create a you know a multi-million dollar business. But we gotta we gotta find branding and differentiation for you because why would mm -hmm. somebody hire hire you as opposed to someone else? Right. So yeah. that, that has to be created. Yeah, at the moment, um the thing I and I'd be curious to know what your feedback is is like I've worked in the space where, you know, you have people who make video and they make um, photo and video for social media, but it doesn't really have a lot of context to it. And so our, our position is we come from social media and we're more of like a holistic media creation company where we know how to position media to be effective. And that's been true for my, the co-founder 
who's got a significant amount of followers and also credibility in this in the in the music space. Mm. Okay. Are you looking for an opinion on that statement? Uh, I mean, I guess yeah. I, I've never really pitched it to anyone who's I think has the kind of experience you do. So I'm curious to see what you say. Uh, it's weak, very weak. Um. <laughs> I mean, for example, I've only started on TikTok about eight and a half months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my videos has 8.7 million views and I've got 151,000 followers in mm -hmm. eight and a half months. So people are going to look for proof, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you can't, you can't always use the shoemaker's kids are barefoot type scenario, right? If you're looking to sell shoes... Your kids better be your models, not barefoot. Does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got to use yourself as an example or use some of your clients as examples or case studies. But you better have those case studies or else you're not going to sign contracts. Yeah, for sure. So what I would suggest is use three or 10 clients as case studies and say, hey, we're going to bust our ass off for you at cost or for free. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use you as case studies or testimonials. That would be one of the ways to do it. But you better have some money to carry you um, because that's going to be expensive. But you need something like that to prove who you are. Yeah, I actually just signed someone today. We're doing that for as a case study. So. Okay. What type of yeah. business? Um, they're an artist. They're a clarinet player, actually. A clarinet player. Okay. And what are what are they hoping that you accomplish for them? Um, they're looking to just get a, a bigger following so that they can tour at, at uh, more places across the United States okay. in Europe. As mm -hmm. an individual, as in like a solo. Uh, yes. So wow. I guess they have their own group, but it's like the name is his name dave bennett go quartet or trio is he good like does he play yeah. at weddings or i mean what no he no he, he does the thing now it's just him and maybe a couple other people as a jazz quintet but um it's just around the midwest and he wants to expand towards for all of the united states and wants to go to europe so okay yeah you have uh can you share a video of his can you share the screen uh sure yeah might be easier so let me, let me pull it up first So what's your idea for promoting them? Um, at the moment, their social media just simply lacks consistency and, and um, engaging content. So that's the first thing we'll, we'll pivot from. Um, yeah, like right now, it's, you know, it's some images and that sort of thing. And it's good for maybe his community that he has uh, like already built. But it's not really, I would say, like promotional content. Some of it is just, it's just really... A pretty basic oh here we go here's some videos um there we go yeah his thing is more like he has a video on online that has like a few million views and it was just him going like crazy on the piano or something and that that went viral so he's he's got more of a fun stage presence which i think makes him a little more unique okay he also just going through the stuff their quality of content is pretty inconsistent as well so here we go i found a video Mm 
Okay, you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, it was like a quick 30 second video of him. Okay. And how many views? Eight comments? This one's got 1.2 thousand, uh, so 1,200 views. Okay. His engagement ratio is, is decent. It's uh, 113 likes, eight comments, 11 shares. Um, yeah. I mean, I could see that at weddings or, or corporate events or something. Yeah, he's definitely got the um, almost like a uh, Kenny G like sound. Um, so yeah, we we've his intention. He wants to play Europe, and his his, his reasoning is it's like I've got other people, my friends who are doing Europe. He's like, I just want to do Europe too. Okay. So part of like you know we're gonna help him on the digital side of things, but as for making the connections to book places over in Europe that's you know he he were not that's not our thing it's up to him mm -hmm. yeah and what's his budget um their budget we haven't talked budget this is a at cost for um case study oh, okay yep. got it yep okay. and the other case study is the monetizing or working with our the co-founders brand he's uh, like releasing online drum courses and that sort of thing. So he's the other, he's the other um, case study. Okay. You, you need to find a way to get these videos to go viral. Yeah. Is, there's, um, I guess what what do you use works for you for virality? Um. Well, controversy, but it's hard to have controversy in music. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. I was just talking to a friend of mine before this call, and it's like it seems the. I, it's there's a whole slew of viral hooks you can have in viral concepts but for music it seems like performance based things is good to get people out to the show um and you could you could veer off from your normal music and make a controversial video but then maybe hitting an audience that has no interest in your music so yeah mu music's I, I personally we're we're working with it and there's you know there's things in each like for drums, for example, like once again, controversy is worked well, like a video of someone's drum set. Then for some reason, the comments will go crazy and I'm trying to identify the drum set. Huge argument will go on. That video will do like a few million views just because of the crazy engagement. So yeah, that's, um, we've kind of cracked that code, but it seems like virality at the same time though, isn't always predictable either. Mm -hmm. You've, Showing up consistent is, is I think, the, the biggest foundation. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure how I can help you at this point, but... Well, you've definitely helped. I mean, talking about the construction industry as being very profitable has helped. I mean, that's... Like, that was a big thing. We we tried finding product market fit, and it just... We're like, we've got a service people want, but we're selling to the people who don't have any money. So we got to pivot industries. And so that's been the last couple months here is just changing industries. But um, would it be like creating content around construction, like ways to promote your construction brand? Like what? That's very salesy. It's really try and get engagement with them without being salesy. Because as soon mm -hmm. as you become salesy, they run away. Um. Mm. Yeah, that's that's another challenge to get, you know, engagement. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Um, I have a video with 3 million comments on it. Sorry, 3,000 comments on it. And I'm talking about landscaping. So you never know what's going to work and what's not going to work. Yeah. Well, it seems like, yeah, like like you said, making content. Like for you, for example, you have, you've got value-added content for people who are trying to make uh, you know money in entrepreneurship. And so it's like value-based content worked well for you and, and what you did. And it seems like it's getting your mentorship program I mean, it worked for me. Here I am. And uh, so, yeah, it's somewhat, it's like edutainment, something that's entertaining and also of value. That's what we're doing for um, our other case studies brand. The drummer, his name is Scott Pellegram. He's, um, we're, we have content that's going to be released soon. We, we're just finished editing it, but it's entertaining and value-based. So there's how to, you know, play drums better basically is, the format is the basis of the content but mm -hmm. yeah going after some even I don't, our like car dealerships or like not that i'm trying to get away from construction but um i mean they spend a huge amount of money to open up their dealerships mm. um and they depend on walking traffic, but I'm not sure they understand that they can control the walking traffic. So that's mm. that's a challenge. Um, so, I mean, you can try it. Um, you might want to consider joining our, our master class or group mentoring sessions where we discuss some of these strategies. Um, and I can try and help you promote some of these uh, ideas or test some of, some of these ideas. Yeah. Give that some thought and let me know what you think. Uh, yeah. I guess what is, is it like a discord group or. Uh, no, it's on zoom. Um, we okay. hold zoom classes. It's $44 a month. We meet weekly. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you send the info over or like. Uh, yeah, I can send it to you now. Yeah. And you are you currently running a uh, business? Is this like a side thing for you or a group mentoring link? Um, what do you mean a side thing? Um, I, like, I'm like a, a management consultant. We design and build businesses. We've I see. We've created over a thousand millionaires in my forty year career. So it's an so that that right there is an example of an evidence based differentiation. Um, like it's pitch. Yeah. Yeah. I put it in the chat. Do you see it? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, copy and paste it or else it's going to disappear as soon as we disconnect. Okay. And is your partner part-time as well? Uh, yeah, he's also um, a musician and teacher. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, if, you, if you have any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, you know, uh, I would suggest you join the group. Um, and if I think of anything else, we can have a that conversation. But you really need to have, you know, branding and differentiation to create an unfair advantage. Without that, you're pushing a boulder uphill instead of downhill. Mm. And how, how does one do that other than is it evident, just the evidence of working for other people, like you said? Um, you've got to have a proven strategy. You gotta, you gotta have a tool mm. that works right consistently, right? Mm. Um, so I mean, we can help you create that tool. Um, and I'm not saying anything is coming to mind now. It usually takes two or three or four weeks or six months to come up with with branding and differentiation. Because without mm -hmm. that fair advantage, and keep in mind, everybody's trying to get there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I well, appreciate your time today. I hope it wasn't a waste for you. And I'll, um, yeah, I'll look at the group mentoring. So. Okay. All right. Enjoy your day. We'll talk soon. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Andrew. Bye.